Yo, what's up? It's me, it's D Wood. Floating in the Dead Sea like a boss. The land around this body of water is about 1,400 feet below sea level, making it the lowest land on Earth. The water is about 34% salinity, making it roughly 10 times as salty as ocean water. This trip has been a mixture of touring various sites in different areas and talking to people. I've been posting video footage of the places we visit, but not of the people we're talking to. I don't want to cause problems for anyone who's sharing their views on sensitive issues. I don't have much video footage to post from today because we've been meeting people basically all day up until now. At eight o'clock this morning, we met with a journalist for about an hour and a half. He is an Israeli citizen. He's also an Arab Muslim. And he basically shared his views of what's going on with the, uh, the, the conflict between uh, Palestinians and Israel and so on. And what was interesting was he said that he would rather go talk to Hamas than try to talk to college students on a college campus in the United States of America because he feels safer talking to Hamas. We met with a journalist in Jerusalem. After that, we headed to Bethlehem to meet with several people. Bethlehem is under the control of the Palestinian Authority right now. And you can see signs when you're going around saying that Israeli citizens are not allowed there. We met with a Christian pastor who's been pastoring a church there for decades. He said that his church has been bombed 14 times over the years. And basically said that, there, you know, there could be peaceful relations with uh, everyone around him for many years and then something stirs people up and then there are problems. Uh, his brother was killed by jihadis. Uh, the pastor himself has been shot, but he also talked about miracles happening, people being uh, miraculously healed of cancer and multiple sclerosis and other diseases. And he talked about people converting to Christianity. He said one of the most powerful gospel witnesses in the area was a Muslim convert who had been training to be a suicide bomber and then uh, converted. We're in a church in Bethlehem. <laughs> After we met with the pastor, we headed to an area called the Shepherd's Field, which is important in two Bible passages. One is the story of Ruth and Naomi and the other uh, being the Annunciation to the shepherds of the birth of Jesus. So uh, this is supposedly the area where the shepherds were uh, when they saw an angel. I didn't record any footage of the shepherds field because when they told me there were some caves around there, that's why it's a shepherds area. The shepherds uh, could find shelter there, but the they told me there were caves, and so I went and started looking around through caves, and uh, I started recording going into woods, so you can check out that footage now. All right, I am uh, in an area next to Bethlehem called the Shepherd's Field. They told me there were a bunch of caves down here, so I came down here. I hope I haven't been left behind. There's a cave here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, look at that. You know you want to crawl up in there. Oh. Hey, people hung out down here. There's another entrance over this way. Oh, 
Oh, I think these are, uh, I think they're called the mikvot. Um, places for ceremonial washings. And they would do this with both people and animals. This is dope. Dude, I gotta figure out how to put my light on. All right. It is pitch black back there. I got my light on. I'll go somewhere. Oh, this backpack's killing me. Looks like it's just for this hose to run. Oh. Just so you know, this is about four feet high. Ooh, that's pretty dope. Oh, all right, kind of got to crawl here. Oh, awesome. There it is. Knew that hose had to go somewhere. That might be for. They need to. Ah. All right, here we go. Ah. Oh yeah, like a boss. The rest of the team's up there playing patty cake. About here. About to find the Ark of the Covenant. Oh, back to civilization. Cool how those caves are all connected. Then I found a goat. All right, well, I caught me a goat. Now I think I have to name the goat. I think I'm going to name her Lunch. Hello, Lunch. Hello. It's my first goat, so I don't actually know if this thing's gonna bite my ear off. After that, we got lunch, but we were more focused on getting a lot of caffeine. We're gonna do a triple shot each. All right, right so yeah, the uh, the waiter didn't seem to understand that we were all ordering uh, three espresso shots each. But that's how we roll. After lunch, we met with two Palestinians. One, a Palestinian Muslim, although he's more of a cultural Muslim now and won a devout Christian. And uh, their stories were very, very interesting. They talked about uh, growing up as refugees and um, uh, the, the, the Christian talked about growing up in an area where he was very hostile towards uh, Israel, um, view them obviously as occupiers. And uh, both of these guys said they, they viewed the Jews as the cause of all their problems. Uh, whenever there was crowding or anything else that's going wrong, they would they would blame the Jews for obvious reasons. But uh, these guys have, have changed uh, a lot over their years. Uh, they still have plenty of criticisms of uh, various groups, but very interesting to listen to, and uh, I'll probably talk a little bit more about them um, later. After we met with our Palestinian friends, we took a bus to the Dead Sea. So, I'm gonna float for a while, like a boss. What kind of moron carries a phone around in the Dead Sea? 